beim Koppel. For the Corpels one, our thinking went like this. How can we provide users who don't necessarily require the entire scope of all our ideas and visions in their defibrillator monitor with a smart device for their life-saving work? I've been a member of the fire brigade for 20 years and for the past 10 of those I have been working as part of the rescue response team, where I've come to appreciate the interdisciplinary work that takes place between the various emergency services. I thus had plenty of opportunity to try out the many different technical possibilities that exist to assist us, especially when arriving at an emergency location before the emergency services and being the only one there. It really does serve you well to assess the patient in accordance with the standard treatment protocols and to use common first aid measures. When it comes to a C1 or C3 patient monitor, for example, the system concept is paramount. If the C1 happens to be connected to the patient already when I get there, I can simply and seamlessly take over and connect the patient to the C3 by unplugging and replugging the connectors from one device to the other. It's very fast and reliable, and for the patient in his or her situation, ideal. Last winter we had an incident where we had to get inside someone's home. Called out by the police, we as the fire services had to break down the door. By the time the ambulance arrived it was just really convenient that all we had to do was to pull the plugs out of our device and reconnect them to the paramedic's device, and resuscitation could continue without interruption. This was extremely helpful, just superb, especially when you know that with each minute or second that the patient is lying there without a heartbeat, his or her chances of survival plummet dramatically. And every time you find out that a patient has survived, it is just the best feeling. Natürlich überleben.